What's up YouTube on Jack and this is Ja Reacts. Okay, okay. So for today's reaction, we got Usher, Ludacris, and Lil John, Lovers and Friends. Now I will go ahead and say, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I'm a fan of all these artists in particular, Usher. I'm a fan of Ludacris, somewhat of a fan of Lil John. I'm not all that familiar with his music, but I will say this seems like a very interesting combination. I can see how Usher and Ludacris will work. Lil John, I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptical. We're gonna see though. Not gonna talk any longer. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey. Okay, so just off the first two seconds of this beat right here, I can already tell clearly the instrumental is mostly geared towards Usher. This is like very much R&B. I already know he's about to get busy over this. It's a point I'm trying to make. So I'm curious to see how Luda and Lil Jon are going to sound over this. It's an R&B instrumental. They're very much hip hop. Um, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm very curious. <laughs> Ooh, that's a beautiful melody on the keys right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to end up calling me tonight. You should how about you come and take a shake in the scene? I love when he hits those little triplets. Like that's like kind of his signature thing. And you know what I mean? I, what did I what did I just say? He's gonna get busy over this. I knew he was. He's killing this right now. <laughs> it's as effortless. You know what I mean? But you got a promise, baby. Hey. Tell me again, my baby. Oh, I got a new baby. And I love how he's whispering the ad libs. That's dope. Yeah, hold it real quick. Before we get into Ludacris verse, I can hear him talking in the background. Yeah, man, this is fire. This is so good. <laughs> it's it's kind of ridiculous how talented Usher is. Like, he just knows how to make a hit. And honestly, the instrumental is very good. I said that in the beginning. I love the melody, but it's not like an incredible instrumental. It, it's simple. It's keys and some percussion. That's it. What What's making this a hit is Usher. His voice, his charisma, his delivery, his flow, the lyrics, all that combined. He is just a hit maker. He is so talented, man. Um, all right, Luda, you got a lot to live up to. I'm going to run it back a couple of seconds. Let's get back into it. Sometimes want to be your lover. Sometimes want to be your friend. Sometimes want to hug you. Hold hands, slow dance while the record spins. Hug you. Yeah, okay. He's coming on it smooth. It's what I like to see. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like that, you don't have to fight back. Here's a pillow fight back. Then I'll be set in separate plays. So on all these separate days, your legs can go their separate ways. <laughs> yeah. That was fire. That was fire. That was fire. Okay. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and clap it up for Ludacris, man. You know, I was giving Usher all the props. I I think I, I came to this with such high expectations for Usher, and he most definitely lived up to them. And I came into this with kind of 
not low expectations, but like I just don't know what to expect from Ludacris and Lil Jon too. We haven't gotten to his verse yet, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of up for grabs. But he, Ludacris, did his thing. And great follow up to Usher. Okay. Respect. Respect. We need some split lines too. All right, Lil Jon. I don't know about this though. I know he just like crunk. And I like Lil Jon, don't be wrong. But let's see. <laughs> what? Hold up. Did I just hear what I just... See, this is kind of what I was... <laughs> Kind of what I was worried about a little bit. Yeah, I heard what I heard. Okay. Oh wait, did he say butt as in like the what you call it, like a comma butt or the? Because I was interpreting that as it. <laughs> okay. Um. I think I misinterpreted that. Okay, my bad, man. I was, I was like, damn, I know you went that way, but no judgment, just damn. Okay. It was it was cool. I'm not gonna lie. For me personally, and like I said, I like Lil John. Like I love. Don't get me wrong. Like if I'm in the gym, I will most definitely put on you know Lil John, Yin Yang Twins, like for sure. But over instrumental like this, not for sure if he fit the best for me personally. Not saying he did bad by any means. I felt like Ludacris fit perfectly. Like as far as a hip hop artist over an instrumental like th this, he did his verse perfectly. Lil John, I don't know. I really just think his voice, like his verse wasn't bad. It's just his voice didn't, for me, didn't fit perfect with the instrumental, but it was still cool. I'll give him his props, man. I'll give him his props. The first line threw me off a little bit, but I know that he... <laughs> I misinterpreted it. That's not on him. That's on him. Hey. And he's still hitting the runs. Yeah, even at the end here. Yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite falsettos ever from Usher. Hey, yeah. Please tell your lovers and friends that Ursha John and Luda had to do it again. Like, Ursha. Yeah, this was fire. This was fire. Even like, though I said I wasn't the biggest fan of Lil John's verse, the song is still fire, man. Don't get it twisted. I mean, Usher alone made the song fire. Ludacris having a really good verse, in my opinion, made it like extra fire. And look, I can live with the Lil John verse. I'm sure if I keep listening to the song, I probably like it more. You get what I mean? I appreciate all y'all recommending this to me, man. Y'all came through once again with the recommendations. Now, at the end here, Luda said, uh, me, Lil John, Usher, we did it again. So I'm assuming there's other songs with this trio here. So comment those down below, and I'll react to those as well, man. If y'all like the video, though, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Y'all have a blessed day, though, and peace.